Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Check the link in the description box below to find out how you can get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. I'm so frustrated! Ah! Hey Greens, so recently I've been become... I've been become... I've been become... I've been become... Wow, English is starting early today. <laughs> I've been be... I've been becoming... Why can't I talk? <laughs> I've become obsessed with buttons. Not these buttons that you put on sweaters, but I mean those really cool decorative ones that you see you have fan art in it, you have these cool drawings. Basically, my Hero Academia ones. And at first I thought it was really weird that I was really getting into these the kind of hobby buttons, but then I discovered there's a whole world called Ida Bags. And Ida bags are basically bags that you carry around and you can display your buttons right onto them for everyone to see what you're obsessed with. These are also really big among the K-pop fan community. Is it K-pop stan? I think it's called K-pop stan. Don't judge me. And so as cool as these things really are, they are not cheap. So I figured how cool would it be to be able to make our own and also display it because, you know, I'm all about customizing such as my little ponies, plushies, because I love things that are made from me. And so today on Cash or Trash, the episode where I review kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't, we're going to be looking at two kits from Japan. The first one really has to do with buttons, the other one is not relevant to buttons at all, but it it is, it is a Japanese kit. The first one is called Can Badge Good. It's basically a kit where you can make your own buttons either by taking your own pictures and customizing them or in this case we do have an absolutely adorable Kirby. Also from the box I can see that we can make an iridescent or I think hollow type cover. I'm not quite sure but I'm really excited to find this out with you. The next kit is a clay kit. It seems like both of them are just pink and they really caught my attention. By the way I got both of these from Amazon Japan and they did start shipping to North America so if you're interested I will leave the links directly down below it's not affiliated not sponsored this is just me loving to shop in Japan because I miss I miss it so much when I can't travel my heart is a broken and this year it's all about the break of my heart by the way for those of you new to this channel don't forget to subscribe otherwise I may give you a haircut and trust me you don't want me giving you a haircut because look at mine. It's no bueno. Make sure you click on all notifications while you're there. <laughs> I love how giving people a haircut is a threat now. It's no joke. No joke. By the way, I want to let you grains know that as of next week, I will be on vacation until the beginning of January. I will leave the dates down below, so I hope you grains have a wonderful holiday. But make sure notifications are on because I will 100% be having live streams. So we'll get to hang out. Also, follow my gaming channel, Raging Raccoon Gamer. Also links down below. Let me know in the comment section below, have you ever tried making buttons? This is going to be my first time ever, so I'm really excited and really nervous. And so our first Japanese craft kit is can badge good what I love about this kit that caught my attention is the fact that it is a Kirby form for those of you who don't know Kirby is a really cute iconic character by Nintendo and it's basically this adorable character that can suck the life out of you this kit cost me $30 even though it might seem expensive according to the back of the box we are able to make about 10 buttons which brings it to about $3 a piece however don't forget we are getting the machine and if you look through Amazon you'll see that most machines are around $180, give or take. So I'm curious whether this machine will actually work properly, whether we're getting good quality pins, buttons, or if it will go in the trash. One of the neat things on the side seems like we can also make custom to our own, not just Kirby. So we can scan or we can take pictures, use their website, or I think there's a phone app. We're gonna try either or and see which one works best and hopefully we will succeed. But to do that, we have to see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. The adorable button making machine. And it seems like we get a little contraption that we can put right in the back over here. And even though it does look plasticky, the feel of it is pretty sturdy. We also get 12 absolutely adorable Kirby designs. They are so pastel and just, I can't say adorable enough. They're just so cute. Ooh, so yes, it is hollow paper. Let's check how many we get. Oh my god, so out of, oh wow, oh these are pretty. So it seems like we can make 10 hollow pieces, or are they?
Yes, 10. Oh my god, these are so cute. The bases of the buttons. Now, these are really tiny. For comparison, this is the standard size that I know of. And these buttons are about, I would say, half the size? More or less. We also get the accessories and the backings. We also get the instruction sheet. Now, there seems to be a lot of do's and don'ts, so I really have to take my time, read it with Google Translate. And even though they do have a QR code for the instructions, once we scan it, as your grains can see, the video that is being displayed is actually out of date. It's not the actual product. It's a whole other product that uses a heart shape and a completely different mechanism. So to that I say, <laughs> I really don't like it when companies give us the option of, hey, look, I made a video for you. And you click on the video and you're like, oh, that is not the video I am looking for. A few moments later. So from what I understood for the instruction, oh my God, there's a page too. Let's just not worry about it because this is about customizing. So according to the instructions, we're going to be turning the handle until it makes five clicks. But those instructions seem to be conflicting with a YouTube video I also just watched for instructions by Panda Shares. And Panda Shares explains that we need to do the five clicks three times on each side. So we're going to try the instructions from the paper first, and then we're going to follow the instructions from Panda Shares and see if there's a difference. And so to do our test, let's start with this illustration here, very basic Kirby head. So here's our contraption and it goes in this order. The base, go oh, oh, it's magnetic. That caught me off guard and my little heart couldn't take that. <laughs> I did not expect it to be magnetic. Okay, this goes down first. This, oh, oh, don't slide to this, this part. Okay, there we go. Don't, don't go wonky on, no, no, stay. And then we put our design right on top. We technically could do the hollow design right now, but let's go one step at a time and just work with the image. And now we're going to take this little contraption and stuff it right in the back. What I really like is that we don't really need any kind of batteries. We don't need to worry about any kind of power. Push this down. Okay, now it's locked in place. We have to make sure that this here is set to level one. There's two levels. We have to do it twice. So this is the part that people apparently get panicked on because the click is scary and you might think that it's going to break, but let's go ahead. So it needs to do five clicks. We're not there yet. I'm getting nervous. Where is the click? Oh, where's... It's all the way down. There's no click. Oh, do I keep turning? One, two, three, four, five. Now we unravel all the way up, move it to step two, and repeat the same thing. So now that I know the clicks are all the way down, we're just gonna keep going. That's really tight. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, did you green see that? Play that back. Or, oh, it just unraveled all by itself. I didn't get a chance to do my fifth click. Let's just do one more. I'm gonna try and go all the way. Oh my God. One, two, three, four. Oh, why does it keep going all the way up? I'm gonna keep going until we get that five. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. Okay. Kirby, you best not disappoint me. Don't tell me what to do, otherwise- I will suck your soul out. I didn't sign up for this, not for $30. All right, so the moment of truth, unclick over here, pull it out, and did we do it? Oh, it's true, it's magnetic. <gasps> so yes, we did do it, but I am low-key disappointed. This is kind of ugly, not smooth, not pretty at all. I'm hoping it's because of the unraveling that happened on step two. So we're going to try again to see if we can get smooth edges on the sides. Other than that, we did succeed somewhat. Is it ugly? Absolutely. So let's try again. Because the idea is we need clean edges like this over here rather than jaggedy, gross edges like that. I mean, look at that. That is gross. Nice. Gross. Nice. Gross. All right, so for this one, I'm going to try and push the mechanisms all the way down a little more firmly. Maybe that was my fault, but from what I can tell, still the same. And here's our image. I really don't think the hollow paper makes a difference, but if we fail again, then for sure we're going to try and put the hollow paper because maybe it's the thickness of that sheet that makes it kind of, you know, like, like like this. Hold on well. I am good at explaining. Bring it to level one and here we go. Step two. We got all five clicks. 
So at this point, we really didn't mess up. The only thing that would be different would be the addition of the hollow paper, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, that looks better already. And it is a little rough around the edges. The back is still kind of gross. I don't know if you grains can see this, but yeah, the back part is just not that pretty. But at least the front really looks a lot more circular than this one. So we're definitely on the right track. I think the only thing we're going to try differently now is by putting the hollow paper. And I think this one with the kind of night sky would be the perfect candidate. <laughs> Moment of truth, Kirby. This is your last chance, buddy. I can't help it. And please, oh wow. Oh my god, that looks so pretty. And a close-up reveals that. Oh, that is, that is so pretty. Holy carp. The back is much better. Oh. So the hollow paper definitely makes a huge difference. It's not torn and bent in awkward ways. And the front is definitely very circular. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. So it really makes a huge difference whether you don't put the hollow paper and you do. As you can see, the edges are peeling and uneven, whereas over here, they are nicely tucked underneath. So you do need that plastic film on top. And so now I am equipped with self-confidence. You know what that means? We're going to make our own. And so it was time for me to take some pictures and modify them. Of course, I needed to change a little bit of the brightness, the colors, make sure that it's well balanced. And in some cases, I needed to add a little bit more sharpness because we're making them small and we definitely want them to pop. And so I went onto their website that includes stickers and borders and some really fun stuff that you can have fun with your pictures. It kind of reminds me of Purikura, which is basically taking pictures in a booth and then customizing them, adding stickers and whatnot. So these are really fun booths in Japan. If you ever find yourself there, go ahead and take some purikura. Back to our pictures. The first one was a little more just me, and then the second one is just my burb, kind of trying to steal my drink. He loves the juice. So that's just him trying to steal the juice and me not being so happy about it. But then again, I also gave myself lips because I need some luscious lips. And after printing them, all we have to do is just cut them out and do the exact same process. Let's take a look at it. Oh my god, hollow really does make everything look much better. Even though my printer quality isn't photo printer, it still has this really fun effect to it. I'm very charming, I promise. I have personality. Looks are not my forte. <laughs> And let's see the back. Yes, absolutely wonderfully tucked in. I'm definitely going to be carrying this around, so. And now for the next one, which is my favorite. And here's the second one that I added all these silly stickers that they provided. And yes, my parrot and I are definitely vibing. And again, the back is nicely tucked. I haven't put the pins on any of them yet, but they do come with this plasticky thing and a safety pin, which I assume is just to be pushed in. And it's really secure. Very nice. And you can twirl it to make it wherever side you want. I promise, I have personality. Now the question is, is this kit worth it? And I've had so many experiences with craft kits around this price range that have done nothing but disappoint me. However, this Japanese button making kit is definitely far from it. I found myself having so much fun customizing my own pictures, but also trying to figure it out because it wasn't that difficult. Basically had to follow instructions. That's all. So for $30, I would say this here is worth your cash. And if you're wondering about refills, they do have them also on the Japanese Amazon. 30 refills for $22. However, I'm pretty sure with a little research on AliExpress, you might find them cheaper. Next we have... 
Hay Clay DIY Alien Scorpion. This kit was extremely cheap at around $7. And what really caught my attention is the creativity of this actual piece. Even though it just looks like a scorpion, in order to be able to get clay to stay in that shape, my guess is that there technically should be some kind of wiring. I could be wrong, but we'll see. Otherwise, it might just topple over. But it also seems that this kit has different series that range from monsters, aliens, animals, birds, bugs, and dinosaurs. And when I turn the box around, not only do we see that there's an app that goes with it, which we, which we will check out later. Wow, that was really hard for my mouth. <laughs> but what really shocked me is that I really thought this was a Japanese craft kit just with some English wording on top but it turns out that the manufacturer is in Georgia in the US so I went over to their website and saw that they said that they were available on Amazon however everywhere I looked on Amazon it is not available so I'm really curious if this failed in North America and just seems to work in Japan so let's see what happens which means it's time to see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. Five absolutely brilliant colors, but really tiny pots of clay. Purple, orange, pink, white, and black. They are really pretty. I love the saturation of these colors, but I have to admit that these are really disappointing because I've seen pots this size about the same amount of color at the dollar store. And even in Japan, they have them at the Daiso, which is the dollar store over there too. So I'm really hoping that their app really is the redeemable quality. And we also get the instruction sheet, which is not detailed or helpful at all. We don't get a sense of scale or how much of this we can use but let's 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 get the app so here is our app i didn't open it just yet let's see what it's like oh okay didn't i just download you what's going on okay so you download an app to download more stuff very confusing okay that is cute where do we where do we where i don't want animals okay no I need, I need monsters. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so we've hit a problem. Where is the monsters group? So I see animals and we can't can't swipe anywhere else. Let's try the other side. No. What if we go down? No, I don't. No, I don't want you. Up. Oh, no. Let's see what's going on. So apparently this app got 2.9 stars review. Let's find out exactly why. So it seems like someone had the exact same issue as we're having right now, which is they can't seem to find monsters. And then the app says you need to download the app from somewhere else from the app store which is not the app store what all right i'm gonna do that all right so on their website they seem to have different apps for different series so let's go ahead and get it on google a few minutes later and it's not loading a little longer than a few minutes later still not loading i'm not sure what's going on but it's not working sometimes you encounter a craft kit that is magnificent and other times you meet something that is a pile of hot garbage and this so far seems to be starting on the wrong foot let me try again one eternity later so i've been going in circles i went through their link their link brings me back to the app the app brings me back to their website and their website does not load rinse and repeat i think i understand why this is discontinued in north america simply because this is the this is the instructions they give you and this is the bits of clay that you get which again you can easily get from the dollar store and there are numerous free apps that give you instructions heck technically you can even go on their first app and learn to make though they're not they're pff, English I'm so frustrated ah! <laughs> you can just go on to their app and use the animals instructions so I'm, I'm telling you grains to go on to their website but this this the, I, I don't I don't get it what do you want me to do We're here okay I know I'm exaggerating but I'm so frustrated right now <laughs> Okay, so if you grains are interested, um, just buy some clay from the dollar store and do this. So let's move this aside. There. 
This 100% feels exactly like the ones from the dollar store grains. Oh no, exactly. And so I went ahead and followed the instructions. Yes, I did translate them from Google Translate. The clay itself is extremely soft. So obviously it's easier for people who have smaller hands or who might have a little bit more pain at manipulating hard clay. But there is such a thing as too soft. My biggest concern really was if this would be able to hold itself. And the answer is no, you're gonna see. This thing Thing keeps wanting to fall. You just be patient. It can't hold its shape no matter what I do. I even gave it butt feet so that, you know, at least the back would be balanced, but it was like, nay, I do not want butt feet because I will fall anyway. Okay, okay. So even though the colors are absolutely wonderful, the creation itself is just not sustainable. I have even no idea in the instructions of how long this is going to take to dry. So I'm going to leave it out overnight and hope that it does. I'm also going to put it in a position and hope that it stays there. But of course it doesn't want to sit. It doesn't want to sit still. Tomorrow. And so here we are the next day. Obviously this had no support. So it just kind of slowly made its way down. And um, yeah, if you try to move it, it's just going to, yeah, tear as you can see. Did it harden? Yes. It's nice, soft, and smushy. But um, yeah, this this design is just not doable. And I think uh, this pretty much answers itself. This kit for me goes straight in the trash. Bye bye. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by Skillshare. If you're someone as curious and creative as I am, Skillshare is one of the best communities to learn from. But Jackie, what is Skillshare? Ah, I am glad you asked. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives for us to come together and take inspiring classes that really just appeal to us. I personally find that being creative is one of the best ways that I can do self-care for myself. Self-care for myself. Wow, redundancy. <laughs> you can take classes from anything from photography, art, video editing, and much, much more. So whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, Skillshare classes have both a lesson component and a project component. So it's not just watching a video, you can actively discuss the projects that you worked on. During the holiday season, I promised myself that I would spend more time focusing on the one skill I really want to develop, which is drawing. And this is where I can recommend Jazza's class, Mastering Illustration, Sketching, Inking, and Color Essentials. And a monthly membership is less than $10 a month annually. So if you're looking for the gift of giving to someone who loves learning, or if you yourself want to work on handmade gifts, why not check Skillshare with the link down below? Risk free, because the first 1,000 grains to click the link down below will get a free trial of Skillshare premium. So that's no ads, no distractions, just pure fun learning. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just right for you, maybe a crafty one, make sure you check down here. And also, if you haven't checked out the YouTube Rewind for Artists and Crafters, where Mariah Elizabeth and Jazza are pretty much the leading ones, I'll leave a link to that video down below. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.